Today we are taking a look at the collaboration between Goblin Tech Keys and Nacho Customs. All right, so here it is. The keycaps are of uh, design from Nacho Customs and then Goblin Tech prints the keycaps. They are four-sided, I would assume sublimated printing. It is very high resolution though. They look, they look good. Uh, they are PBT. They have a decent sound to them. We'll get to that later. But there you are. This is built on a GMK 67 platform. Uh, these boards run about 90 bucks most places if you buy just this regular board or the bare bones model online. It's got your standard double flip up legs. So you can adjust the height that way. And then little rubber feet down here, obviously. Um, it is an ABS case, which some people I realize may have some thoughts about. Some people like plastic cases and some people don't. It just kind of depends on what sound profile you prefer and that type of thing. It is a triple mode wireless keyboard. So here's your plug for power, and then you have a Windows and Mac switch, and then 2.4 USB or Bluetooth connectivity. And then it keeps the little dongle back here for the, uh, the wireless connection. So that stays right back in there. <clears throat> it does have a multimedia knob as well. You can use for volume or set it, you know, to whatever you need to use it for. I think default it does does function as the volume. Um, the keycaps don't have any legends on the top. They're instead side legends, which are kind of hard to see without RGB on. But the letters do shine through, which is a nice touch. Some just have side legends that are printed. These ones are. Uh, double shot caps, so the RGB color does shine through the uh, the side legends here. So here's a little better look at the actual keycaps. Like I said, it is an uh, a PBT keycap, double shot, meaning it's got the clear or white plastic on the inside that shines through the legends here. Um, the printing is high quality. You can tell just by looking at it, honestly, in person. Um, very crisp. There's no blowouts of lines or anything like that. So kudos to Goblin Tech for the quality print job on these. Um, on the board, it does come with pre-lubed Gatoron Milky Yellows, which I was happy to see. Um, I much prefer these over... The regular Gatoron yellows, the Milkies have just a little bit different profile and sound to them. So I think that was an excellent choice for this particular board. The factory lubrication on them is, is decent. Um, if you took them all apart and hand lubed them yourself, you'd probably get a little better results. But there's absolutely nothing wrong with these that came on it. They feel pretty good, actually. They feel better than a lot of factory lubed uh, switches let's pull a few more caps off the only thing that i wasn't super impressed with is the stabilizers on it they're not bad they're not bad so the stabilizers are pre-lubricated you can see a little dab of grease up there. The stems on them, there is a lot of play in the stabilizers, which isn't uncommon to see, but I don't know. There are better stabilizers out there. These aren't bad, and they do their job. Um, so, yeah, I'll let you decide what you think. It doesn't sound bad, and... Um, like I said, they do what they're supposed to do. 
they feel better than they look like they would feel, if that makes sense. Um, you don't really get any play side to side or anything like that. And the feel from one end of the space bar to the other is pretty straight across the board. So here's a little bit better look at the side legends when they're lit up. It kind of depends on the particular keycap and also the color that you have shining through, how visible they are. You can kind of see more, or some are more visible than others. Um, and I also have a bright studio light on here, so that's not helping either. But that gives you a kind of an idea. They look good. Uh, the keycaps are, or the the board is a south facing RGB, which should make a lot of people happy. Um, and it also does help with the brightness of the shine through of the legends. The board itself has quite a few. I don't know if you'd call them upgrades, but features that are desirable in my personal opinion obviously it's an abs case like i mentioned which will make some people happy and others may not be happy some people prefer aluminum cases it is a true gasket mount and you can see let me see if i can get this there is some flex and squish to the pcb which is nice um, as there should be with a proper gasket mount it's a poron gasket, by the way. Um, it has a positioning plate, which is this kind of plasticky plate you see there, which just helps align everything, essentially. Uh, it does have poron switch pads underneath, which help with the sound. Um, what else did it have? Uh, it does have a sound-absorbing cotton pad on the bottom. So it's got all the stuff there that people look for in custom boards. You could probably go a bit further, although taking these particular cases, the GMK 67s apart, can be a bit of a pain in the ass. So this probably isn't for someone that necessarily wants to get real custom with it. This is more so kind of a collector's item. If you're into keyboards or you like Nacho Customs, um, like his custom mice and stuff like this, then I can see you being a big fan of this particular board. Turn the RGB back on. Overall, I think they did a great job. It's a cool collaboration between the two companies. Um, it does sound good. And it's 60%, which a lot of people like. I'm personally more of a fan of 75%, but I also have like six or seven different 60% boards. So this will be a nice addition to my collection for sure. And it just looks badass. I love the keycap design. Shout out to Nacho. I think he did a good job uh, designing the set. A uh, bunch of little cool characters, very street art, graffiti inspired kind of stuff, which I'm a big fan of. Um, the board retails, I believe these are on sale right now for $179 on Goblin Tech's website. Um, as I said before, if you were to buy one of these GMK67 boards, um, from like Amazon or wherever, just a bare bones, they run about 90 bucks. So you're paying for a little bit extra for the, uh, the limited edition keycaps, I guess you could say, but I think it's worth it. Honestly, I think it's not a bad deal. They're not ripping people off or anything. It's a good switch choice. The stabilizers are decent, but nothing to write home about, so to speak. Um, it's got a multimedia knob, which is always a plus to see, in my personal opinion. It's nice to be able to control volume and stuff on the board. So it's checking all the boxes for me personally. Uh, the build construction is nice. It doesn't feel flimsy or anything like that. I personally prefer metal cases, but ABS does have a nice thocky sound to it. So let's check out the sound. I'll throw a sound clip in now, um, or just some typing and all that kind of stuff. And then I'll let you guys decide if you think it's worth it. This audio is a mic, like a lapel clipped on my shirt. So I don't know how well it's going to pick it up. So I'm going to do some audio with that first. And then we'll just do raw phone audio after that.
phone audio. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll throw some links in the description. And uh, yeah, feel free to check it out or let me know your thoughts. Appreciate you watching.